Hi everybody, I'm Chris Barton. And I'm Jennifer Ziegler. And we write books for young readers. And we love speaking to other writers of books for young readers, particularly about the dedications in their books. That's what this one's dedicated to is all about. Today we are at we are live at the Chappaqua Children's Book Festival talking with Alex London about the dedication for his book, City of Thieves, Battle Dragons, number one. Hello, Alex. Hey, it's really exciting to, to be here with you today in this beautiful spot. That's yes, right. at the Golden Hour. So <clears throat> to kick us off, would you mind reading aloud the dedication in your book? And I understand that you gave your last copy of the book to a young reader. I did. So happily, we have the dedication written here on a paper oh, that you can share. Look at the preparation. <laughs> this is this is how you know quality. Uh, always prepared. Uh, it's a shame the book has such a cool cover. It'd be nice to hold it up. I know. Maybe we can edit it. We'll, through the well, magic of video editing, the covers just appeared. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Very yeah, cool. So good. <laughs> so I dedicated this one. Dedicated to anyone who has tried to tame a dragon or dreamed that they might. So, can you explain why you came up with that dedication? Yeah, I was, uh, it turns out that dragons are never just dragons. Um, they're, they're, they, are, they are actually dragons yeah. in the book, the hundreds of them, uh, and they, they do battle. Yes. As the title says, battle, dragon. <laughs> um, however, they also, I feel like childhood is a time where, especially middle school, yeah. where you have a lot of responsibility, there are a lot of demands put on you, but absolutely no power. And fundamentally, I think dragons are power, right? Yeah. And I think power doesn't change you. I think it reveals you. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to uh, explore this idea that when you're a young person, you're dealing, you're wrestling with a lot of stuff, and you're wrestling with your own sense of self and power, and you're trying to tame that, and also there are hormones going nuts, <laughs> and you're trying to tame those. Uh, and so I wanted to kind of acknowledge the, the dreams that young people have that are often, that, that they're, 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 their small vessels are often too big to contain. Uh, so I wanted to honor the struggles those kids go to go through by dedicating it to the struggles, whatever their dragons are, whether they're literal dragons like my heroes or metaphorical dragons that kids deal with in their life, and or it, honor the kids who maybe dream about something bigger than the little world they're in. Uh, so dreaming they might one day tame that's their wonderful. dragons. Yeah. That's well, at, at, at what point in writing City of Thieves did you know you were going to dedicate it that way? When the copy editor came back <laughs> and said, dedication TK, can you get this back to us by Tuesday? And I thought this was my, I think, 28th book. Yeah. Um, so by then I've dedicated it to just about everybody I've ever encountered on the street. Like I've dedicated a lot of books. <laughs> Uh, and so I was like, oh, i got to think of something. And yeah. that's when I sat there and thought, okay, it's the first book in a series. These books mean a lot to me. I poured a lot of myself into these books yeah. and, and a lot of all the stuff that I love into these books. So I didn't want it to just be like a tossed off like joke. Like, right. So I just sat there you know, with the cursor and all the little copy editing marks in front of me and thought, okay, what, what does this book mean to me? And how yeah. can I distill that into a page that people will hopefully not just skip over? And when you were the age of of your characters in the book, of Abel and Roa and Topher, and, and the age of your readers, what would this dedication have meant to you? I think it would have hit hard. I, yeah. I was someone who dreamed uh, of so much bigger than my world. Yeah. You know, I was a terrified, closeted seventh grader. I yeah. didn't even know the feelings I was having for other boys. I didn't, I also, I, I didn't, like, it wasn't cool to want to be a writer, but I knew yeah. even then I wanted to be a writer. So I had these weird dreams of this bigger world that I could somehow, like, that was just waiting just outside of my reach, and I had no power to realize it, and I was terrified. Yeah. Um, and the one thing you don't have to feel when you're riding on a dragon is terrified of anything except that <laughs> dragon. Or maybe another bigger dragon. Um, and so it would have meant a lot to me, like, oh, I'm not this powerless, terrified person. I can step up, I can tame this dragon, I can be bigger than I feel. Um, and, and so I think it would have meant a lot to me. Although also I probably would have just skipped that page and never noticed it. And just looked if the book had pictures or not. Yeah. So would you say that you... Um, perhaps subconsciously or consciously dedicated the book. Were you thinking of your younger self when you came up with this dedication or were you thinking of anyone in particular? I was definitely thinking of myself. Uh, this whole book was really a, a labor, like a love letter to all the stuff that I loved and to my seventh grade self. I. Uh, I had just finished writing, right before the pandemic, uh, a very heavy young adult series, very intense. I ripped my soul out for it. I was exhausted and I just wanted to write something 
ridiculously joyous. And I really, my, my guiding principle with this entire series was, what's the coolest thing I can do here? And how can I make that work? And so the whole thing was anything I had ever in any passing moment thought was awesome. I wanted to put in the story. And so it really is just me geeking out on all the stuff that I wanted to geek out. And I, through writing it, discovered there was a lot more going on there. There's a lot of stuff about power and community. Um, there's a lot of stuff about family, uh, society. There's a rising fascist government in the story. All those things I found later as themes. And But ultimately, it was just... Okay, what's the awesomest thing that can happen? Yeah. <laughs> and it was not what what will kids think is awesome. It's what do right. I think is awesome. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. So like dragons are awesome. Kit Kat bars are awesome. My editor made me change them. So in the book they're called Wyvern wafers. Yep. Uh, but they were Kit Kats. I was going for a brand sponsorship. I was like, oh maybe if the books are popular, Kit Kat will just bring me send me free Kit Kats. But my editor made me change it, and I have gotten no free Kit Kats from the Kit Kat. <laughs> and but probably no Wyvern wafers either. No Wyvern wafers. <laughs> yeah. Well, is there anything else about the dedication or about the, the book itself you want us to know? Um, I mean, A, the book's awesome. People yeah. should read it. Uh, no library is complete without 10 copies. And is there a follow-up? There is a follow-up. So City of Thieves is the first Battle Dragons book. The second just came out called City of Speed. And its dedication is something I don't even memorize, but it's something along the lines of, uh, to you, the readers, uh, yes, you. Isn't it cool you have a book dedicated to yourself? Yay! All right. Because <laughs> so, I was really out of ideas. Um, and then you got you got to meet more people. Yeah, I know. I really do. Well, that's why I'm here at this amazing <laughs> festival in Chappaqua. Uh, Please be my friends. <laughs> um, no problem, man. And then I book three comes out in March. Yeah. Uh, it's called City of Secrets. The publisher changed the title. I think it's yes, it's City of Secrets, Battle Dragons three, and that one I dedicated to um, my daughter. Natty, yeah. uh, because I will not allow her to ride a dragon the way that the parents in these books do. Oh. They're not thrilled about it, but they let their kids because sometimes you got to step up. Yeah, I don't think I'd let her step. Don't up get any ideas. Yeah. This is don't get any happen. ideas. So it's not, I can't remember the wording I used, but it was basically like, no, <laughs> no dragons for you. Go to medical school. <laughs> do you want to show? You want to hold up the, oh, yeah, the so cover? This is, this is book two, City of Speed. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I didn't give this one away today. It had a thing in it. And this is, this is the dedication of this one. To the reader who is reading this right now, I'd be nowhere without you. Isn't it cool you have a book dedicated to you? Yes, I mean you. <laughs>